Real Action is brought to you by Pertec with 103 service and supply centres around Australia for all your hydraulic and industrial hose requirements. Today, welcome to Real Action. Michael Gaston to kick this episode off doing a bit of fast fishing in my local estuary system uh, on the mid north coast of New South Wales. So, all sorts of species. Uh, it's a little bit cool this time of year, but if you work these rocky structured areas, you'll find things like brim, flathead, tailor, who knows, even a mull away. I tell you, it's a really nice afternoon. It's shaping up that way. Let's see what we can find. Oh, it's got a little bit of weight to it. It is. It's a really good brim. Look at that for a brim. That's a cracker. Oh, wow. That is a big winter brim, that one right there. Have a look at the size of this thing. So I've changed things up. I was using that prawn lure a little bit earlier. And I've just gone to a little fish profile vibration style lure. And have a look at that for a solid brim. That's a beauty. So hanging around just out in the slightly deeper water in winter time, there's all sorts of fish you'll catch in and around here. Mulloway, if you're lucky, a mulloway, and certainly uh, flathead one, but big brim too. That's a beauty, that one there. That's a real solid fish. I tell you, that is one quality brim. Off you go, bud. <laughs> Get little bite windows, even in winter time, right on those tide changes. I've had a couple of bites. I'll drop down. Don't forget to slow that technique down. My vibe's just made it to the bottom there now. So just little... Oh, oh, you're joking. There you go. Just little short lifts. That was just on the bottom. And that, that's definitely a flathead. You can tell that sort of... It's not fighting a lot at all, actually. Oh, there we go. A couple of head shakes there now. Oh, here he comes. Beautiful looking fish. Wow, that's amazing. Those little bite windows, when they happen, you've just got to be prepared. Don't go flying off, even though we can cover some ground real fast on this machine. Make sure you stay where you are and, and maximise that sort of bite window that I've got. I've got a tide change in about half an hour, so I really want to fish this area while they're biting. Cool looking fish, and he's just caught that back treble. Yes, 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 yes. That's that telltale heavy weight that you get when you're plasticking for a flathead. This one feels like a Slightly better fish, that's for sure. A little bit bigger. So what we got here. Oh, there we go. Some big head shakes there. Oh, he's going all right there. Just got to work it up. I'm using my favourite rod here, three to five kilo. A little bit of 15 pound leader and some eight pound braid. Beautiful flathead on the end of that. Check that out. Oh, head shake, head shake. As they do, flathead. And this is definitely the place where you can lose them, but I reckon he's pretty well hooked, or she. That's a nice fish. I reckon I can sit this one up here. Actually, I've got a measuring. A little measure on the back there. It's about 58 centimetres long. So that is, that's a solid fish. Off you go, bud. Oh, there's a bit of a touch. Got him. Flathead are just one of those iconic species and if you said to me Gesty what's one of your favorite fish to catch it's got to be the flathead they're they're fantastic eating and they're what pretty well most Aussies do to start their sport fishing off and just because it's winter time and it's cold and I know it's cold and I've got my long pants on doesn't mean that you can't catch a nice flathead now that's a beautiful looking fish that one there and if I was going to going to take one home to eat I reckon that's the perfect size look at it there it's just climbed on a little vibration lure that I'm dropping down. I'm gonna tell you that that's a solid fish. So easy to um, to just duck out on the PwC and, and go and have a bit of fishing fun and that's what I'm doing this afternoon. All right, I'll just uh, put my fish there. I've got everything going on at the moment. Slide that net down, give that fish a little bit of a drink in there. Now that's that little vibration style lure that I'm using. You can see it's got that natural looking eye and orange belly and that's certainly done the job. I'll sit that on the dash for a minute. And there's the result. A cool looking fish, flathead. Now, if you're going to eat a flathead, I've got to tell you, 
And I reckon I might take this one home for dinner. That's probably the perfect size. Look at that. The humble flathead is a great looking fish. Fantastic, uh, fantastic fun on that light tackle and really, really good eating as well. Don't go anywhere. Plenty more real action coming up after the break. Staying safer on the water has never been easier thanks to the Marine Rescue New South Wales app and it's free. All you need to do is tell us where you're going and when you'll be back and don't forget to log off. So take a couple of minutes to set up your profile, be smart, choose the tracking option so Marine Rescue knows where to start searching in an emergency. Logging on with Marine Rescue New South Wales means someone's watching out for you. Marine Rescue New South Wales volunteers saving lives on the water. I've got Dom Thornley with me today, and it's it's time to clean the clean the freezer out. We've got it's got some loaves of bread. We've got uh, a mac tuna that I caught a little while ago, and we've got some pillies, and we're going to jig some yakkers, and we're in a bit of a burly up session on an off, offshore reef, mid north coast of New South Wales. See if we can't find some snapper, snapper, uh, maybe a kingfish this time of year, long-tailed tuna, cobia. You never know, but certainly. Uh, that's on the on the menu. Uh, bait fishing's not really your thing. It's not my thing, but that sounds like a smorgasbord this morning. So I'm really <laughs> excited to be doing this. Well, I guess the current's probably running a bit harder than I wanted, but that's cool. We're just going to have to work a bit harder to get that burly down. Let's do it, mate. It's time to get your hands dirty. Let's that's get dirty happen. and let's get messy. <laughs> Out you go, mate. Oh. oh, good morning, Michael. Good morning, all right. That's a way. Just let me pass there, bud. Come on, bud. That was a good bite, that one. Come on. Oh, dear. That's seriously <laughs> going. Pulled out of him. Pulled out. Bummer. Oh! Come on. It's the first of our live baits I've deployed, and it didn't even make it to the bottom actually. And it's away. It's definitely got a bit of go about it, that's for sure. Come on. <laughs> Early in the morning. Oh. Oh. Feels like a kingfish, I think. And a good one. Some 50 pound mono on there. Oh, he's giving it to me. 80 pound leader and that that big circle hook. Just got to try and take back every bit of line when you can because they've got the current in their favour. They've got the bottom in their favour. Just got to try and get him up. Oh, <laughs> it's definitely waking me up. Oh, our burley's starting to do its thing. And uh, there's so much bait on the sounder. We first pulled up, I think we're in a pretty good area. Come on, bud. I think I'm starting to get this fish up. <laughs> Did it? I'm puffing. <laughs> I'm glad I had that coffee this morning. Here he is. Up there. Hey, that's a cracker. In there. In there. There we go. <laughs> Good morning. <laughs> oh. <laughs> That's oh. waking us up. There's a bit of real action right there. That's, uh, that's, uh, I might have won the battle, but I gotta tell you, oh, man, that flogged me, that I'm, fish. I'm puffing and I didn't even fight the fish. We're in shallow water and uh, I had, I had to pilch it out, I can't talk. I had to 
filtered out in our burley trail, sending it out there to start with and got absolutely smoked. Oh, and guess what? How amazing is this? Oh, look at that. You wouldn't believe it. Look what I, you've got. I said I got smoked by a kingfish. Look at this, come down here. Can I just show you? That is amazing. So the fish that blew me away earlier, there's my hook. You would not. <laughs> Can you believe that? You would that? not believe it. You would not believe that's it there. Check that out, that's amazing. That's a really big solid kingfish. Can you believe <laughs> the one that blew me away on the light tackle came back and then ate that live yellow tail? And dead set, didn't even hit the bottom that live no, yucker and that water from kingfish. Second. So we've got our burly trail going, the current's running. And uh, mate, a for it. it's all happening. That's a cracking big yellow tail kingfish. Without a doubt, the dirtiest, hardest, toughest fighting fish in the ocean is one of these blokes. I had no hope in the current of landing it on that light tackle. As proven, you can see that fish rubbed me in the bottom, cracked it off, and how's that 5 hook was in there, but hey, he was no match for the 80 pound leader and the, and the big circle. Well, what a cracking way to start the day. I'll get this fella back in, watch it swim off. That's a beautiful big kingy, that one. up here, generally I go sort of through the spine, it's a single 6 chemically sharpened hook, you can have twin hook rigs, I keep it quite simple sometimes, and then and then have that hook sitting out there, just around that head area, which is where the predatory fish normally like to eat them, and then just turn a half hitch, you can see I'm turning that half hitch around the tail, and that'll keep that bait nice and straight, and I've got quite a big sinker at the moment because the current's running so hard, and I'll turf that one out and see what eats it. Go, mate. On the way there, Dom. You're away. I might just get out of your road. Oh, it could be the, could be a snapper. Oh, I reckon it is. Feels like a snapper that one. It's got those telltale head shakes. So I'm using a big glass tip rod, and feels like that bump, bump, bump from a snapper. This one. So that burly starting to do its trick. Oh, a beautiful little panty coming up in the morning light. Sensational. Right over, up you come. I reckon I can just take a wrap. So taking a wrap is just that. Wrap around there, lift that fish straight up into a comfort grip, which means you're gonna have to wash your shirt, but that's all right, I don't mind that. And look at that. Beautiful little snapper, so one of those fish that are just scooting up the burly trail now. We'll trim that off. He swallowed that hook. Their survival rate's really, really good, so you don't need to go pulling at that. I'll just get that sinker out. There it goes. Hear that into the cup holder so I can put that sinker back on and tie another hook. All right, bud, off you go, mate. There you go. He's away. All right, Dom, let's get this thing rigged up. So I've got a big, chemically sharpened Tano circle hook. Some 80 pound fluorocarbon leader on the livey rig. We've got some pilchards wafting around out the back. Pin him through there and he's just going to wriggle around. Got quite a heavy sinker because the current is running quite hard at the moment. Pinnacle behind us, uh, lots of bait there. So this fella's going to be a distressed one in amongst that. All right, mate, drop him down. The big 80 pound rod there. Away you go, bud. Away he goes. Yep. Go, son. <laughs> Got an inquiry, Guesty. Go, mate. Get him up off the Get bottom. Get him off the bottom. Get him up off the bottom, that's it. Good work. Go, Dom. Got him there, Guesty. Oh, it's big, it's red. That's what we oh, like. That's, that's the what go. we came for. That's the go. Burley doing its thing. Woo. <laughs> In you come, yeah. you beautiful <laughs> thing. Woo. Yes, mate. And one of these ones. 
Oh, a little low one. Oh, a little low one from behind. We're, we're pumped. That's a great That's fish. That's a beauty. There we go. There's that circle hook. Big chemically sharpened circle hook. Get in there, have a look at that. That has pinned that fish absolutely perfectly. Is that perfectly. front and center? That's, mate, that's, huh? that's, that is about if, as front and centre. Turn, we'll turn front and centre. You've got to show everyone at home. If I'm taking middle stump on guard, that is centre. <laughs> that is, yeah, cricket analogies. If it's not you, it's <laughs> Tubby Taylor, it's Brett Lee, all these fellas who have been on real action in the past. Dominic Thornley, mad cricketers, but mad fishermen as well, as you can see right Loves now. Loves a so. snapper. There you go. Oh, there you go, straight away. When you set up a burly trail, it's really important that uh, you get yourself in the right position because let's face it, you're going to spend a bit of time there. So we've got uh, electric motor down at the moment. So we're in that spot lock position, electrically anchored. Because at the moment, the current is ripping downhill, probably about two knots. So we want to be parked up, up current. Predators will be sitting on the face. So if you can imagine under the water, that looks sort of pretty much like a, like a pyramid. And that current's coming roaring downhill and then coming up, those fish will sit on that pressure edge, which is that front edge. So if I zoom in here, let's have a bit of a look. We'll zoom in. You can see where we've been parked here at Yale Line. We were over here for a little while, but parked there. And you see the contours get closer and closer and that's the high point. So we've got our burly going back towards the high point, but we want to try and fight any decent fish we catch, whether it be a big snapper or a kingfish away from that rough area. So we want to fight them in this area. We want to draw them in using the burlies. It's a really good place to be sitting above the bait. A, you can drop your bait jig down, dig up some liveys, and B, the predators are never too far away from where the bait is. So I reckon we're in a pretty good spot. A bite. See our live bait on the bottom and something big has eaten it. Just pump of wine. Try and gain every bit of wine whenever you can. Oh, it's going under the boat there at the moment. Come on. Oh, didn't like that much. Just a 37 kilo glass tip rod and the big gold reel on today. 50 pound nylon, 80 pound litre, so big circle hook. I can definitely put a bit of hurt on, that's for sure. Just getting a bit of line back there then. Oh. And it's funny, that live has been sitting there for a while. I wound it up and there was a bigger yakker on there. And sometimes it pays to change your bait. So I put a smaller profile bait on. And I'm gonna tell you, it only probably lasted five minutes or so. And it has been eaten. It's amazing how much drag you can put on these systems. Oh. You're really relying on that rod to take a lot of the shock out of the system. That's why I like using monofilament in this shallower water. You use braid and it's so aggressive on everything, on the knot, on the runners, and that real hand-to-hand -hand combat with big fish. Glass tip rod's good. Grab the net there, please, Dom. Here I come, mate. Here I come. It's a big kingfish, bud. Another big one. Wow. Let's do it. One, two, three. Oh, yeah! <laughs> there we go, mate. Wow. Oh, that's a 10. <laughs> oh, man, man hug time. Oh, big man hug. There we oh, go. Wow. That's... Oh, what a beast. The first one was good. The second one was gold. I've got to tell you, that is an absolute horse. That's a big, fat fish, that one. I'm happy. I'm excited. I don't have a lot of words at the moment. Well, I can tell you, that is an absolute ripper. Have a look at the girth of that. That is a powerful, powerful fish. And persistence with the burlies paid off. We got, uh, got that cracking king earlier. Yep. We got a really good snapper that you've got. We've caught some nice snapper on those baits, but that is just topped it off. I'll see if I can pick that thing up. That is, that is a heavy, heavy thing fish, that one. What there. are you calling it for? Oh, I don't you know, know, mate. Big. Big. I'm going big, Lens? very Lens? big. 
Oh, mate, it's up there, that one. That's a cracker. Now, that's a cracking catch. If you've been catching some ripper fish lately, then send your photo into our Alfabs Cracking Catch competition at the Real Action Facebook page to get you hooked up every week. We're giving away a pen rod reel and line combo, an awesome Scanstrut Rock wireless phone charger and inflatable waist belts from BLA, along with some great gear from Valvoline to keep your marine engine and trailer lubricated. Well, check that out. That is an absolute cracking big kingfish. And uh, you won't get a bigger smile on my face. I've got to tell you, I love kingfish. One of my favourite ever sport fish, and they are just a destructive thing. And if you can win the battle, it's a pretty damn good day. We've had a great time. Dom got a really nice snapper there on the, on the live bait rod before. I was lucky enough to get a couple of really good kingfish. You've been watching Real Action. Michael Guest, Dominic Thornley. Ooh, I've got to tell you, Come on, big fella. that hasn't been a bad day. That's a brilliant day. Catch you next time. See Bye later, guys. All right, big dog. Off you go. Go on. Go on. There she goes. Real Action brought to you by Dog Pro Plus. Look after your best mate with a complete and balanced diet. Hyundai high performance forklifts, smart technology and safety, they're the driver's choice.